as folks adapt to this changing world, and it is seriously ever changing. Yes, it we is. are. Yeah, we are all buying stuff online, and more and more tons stuff of stuff every day. Buying, selling. You're if you're an e-commerce seller, are you ready to meet the demands of our new delivery culture? Are you, Gina? I'm ready, man. You know why? Because I've got ship station. Ship it. Ship it. Seriously, though, they make it so com- so much easier handling. I mean, for us or for you, I should say at the gym, sometimes you guys ship out and we talk about this a bunch of times, but you ship out tons of shirts, hoodies, swag, or not that much. And your price doesn't change, which is great. Probably a lot of people shipping masks right now. Oh, for sure. ShipStation helps online sellers of any size get orders out quickly, save money on shipping costs and keep customers happy. It's easy. You got to try it out. Try it out. So... And right now, Between the Reps listeners can try ShipStation free for 60 days when you use the offer code BETWEEN. Make sure your business is ready to meet the demands of delivery culture. Get started at ShipStation.com today. Click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in BETWEEN. That's ShipStation.com. Then enter offer code BETWEEN. ShipStation.com. Make Make ship happen. I just am getting texts. And I'm starting the my what? podcast. Actually, we already started, so I'm not oh. going to text any <laughs> of you back. Also, like I just I let started. everyone know here. Are you filming? Okay. Oh. I, was like, I was like, I really started way before anyone else was ready. <laughs> I didn't even know you started. <laughs> didn't know either. <laughs> That's usually what happens. Okay. Um. Hi. Uh, hey, guys. <laughs> Welcome to Between the Reps Welcome of Brooke and back. Gina and Colby. We got Colby. We heard you spoke. You spoke. We heard you. And now Colby Stevens is on the podcast. I'm here. You could say that I'm just as comfortable as can be in my outfit. You are. You I'm- may think I did this to really embody the life of surf, which is Colby. <laughs> but in fact... The life of surf. Yeah. But in fact, it's just one of those days. It has been one of those days. It's going to be a weird episode. It I already know weird. it because my brain is mushy. And we think everything is funny. Yep. And those are usually really annoying. <laughs> but real talk, um, we had some people asking to have Colby on the podcast. And Colby is who? Colby Stevens is my videographer. He's just the dopest dude. Dopest? You are really going for all the <laughs> surf lingo right now. No, like, I just... Yeah, bro, so dope. You know what it is? Is I had some interviews today. I had some phone calls and I used all of the adult words that I know. <laughs> all the grown They're all used up. Intellectual <laughs> phrases. They're gone. They're all gone. I only have <laughs> this left and I'm so sorry. I'm going to apologize before we start. Um, but yes, we have Colby on. He's my videographer. <laughs> He is just the coolest. I want to say, I, I love to call him the coolest kid. And I call him a kid because he is quite a bit younger than me. He's not a kid. Um, he's an adult. He's an adult. Graduated from UCSC. Uh, Colby, tell us about yourself. Mm-hmm. And he's he's like so, he was nervous. <laughs> oh, really? And I was like, dude, That's don't so be funny. nervous. And I was well, like, I mean, I used to be really nervous. You are. Look at you now. You're a star. I know. <laughs> I'm so laid back now. I just don't even give a shit. The fame's really gone. <laughs> yeah, it's really head. gone to my head. <laughs> <laughs> for real. big smart colby. okay colby tell us colby about yourself Stevens, take it away well, well um, i'm uh <laughs> no i'm just kidding <laughs> yeah, i'm just well, kidding i'm just <laughs> i am uh 24 not totally a kid i did graduate from ucsc just mm-hmm. recently mm-hmm. and um it's weird that i'm nervous because i hang out with you guys literally every day i know we're pretty close to it yeah but i'm just so nervous yeah. i don't know why it's because you, you know you're on camera and you know you're being recorded now you know what it feels like i know right right i'm always recording you guys i know you know what i think is the most nerve-wracking thing about doing podcasts what is sometimes we especially now because we've got so comfortable uh-huh. because we just do it in the house right i think i worry sometimes that we forget what we're doing <laughs> that we forget <laughs> that people listen, listen to, to it <laughs> i know i know there's so many times when I'm like, fuck, what did I say? Yeah, every time. What did Devin texts me, she goes, I loved your podcast. And I was like, I what? forgot what we talked yeah, about. Yeah, what did we talk about? <laughs> no, Happy but you liked it. It's funny because I felt bad for a while because every time Colby would show up, didn't mean to interrupt you, Colby. I know, we're like, tell us about yourself. Yeah, tell us about yourself. Okay, and we're, and we're, about, we're talk about shut ourselves. up, Colby. <laughs> no, <laughs> but it's interesting that you said that you're nervous. And it is because you are on the other side of the 
the camera this time. Yeah. Yeah, totally. I think I like being on the, the side I'm usually on. Yeah. 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 With like little cameos. Totally. I love the little cameos. Yeah. I think I might be on uh, better in front of a camera because I can always cut out what I, I don't like. <laughs> right, right. But this is like You're the one live. editing also. So totally. Yeah. yeah I remember. I remember it. I remember. I, rem- I remember. I remember one of the first like feedback things I gave to Colby was I want you to be a character. So don't be afraid to talk. So to dance me. monkey dance. <laughs> <laughs> so but like, t- t- like talk to me. Like it's okay for like with, with like the videos and stuff we do, it's okay for people to, they know you're filming. Like they know someone's filming. <laughs> they know you're there. Totally. They know someone's filming. So it's like they, sh- they can hear you and that's cool. I was almost like this little like secret character that no one like knew the, a face of or the name. Yeah. I was just like in the background. Yeah, well, and now was, they know. Now like, they know. Now they like, know. So now like I, I talk, I mean, I talk to you when you're filming me. It's like, Colby, are we, are we filming? Are we filming? Well, it's funny because for a while I thought Colby probably thought I hated him because every time he'd show up, I'd be like, oh no. Yep. Oh, that's so true. Every time. <laughs> so absolutely true. <laughs> Every time I was like, oh man, I told Brooke, I was like, oh man, you know, I really don't think Gino likes me at all. <laughs> that wasn't it. So I really don't like being filmed and Brooke doesn't tell me <laughs> when she never tells me. So the- it's not because I don't want to, it's because <laughs> I you don't remember. I forget. <laughs> you do forget. But sometimes we, like, so- we, we don't have a plan, which you guys know, we don't plan a lot of stuff and we know we got to film. And so it'll be like, yeah, let's do it. Let's do this. But Brooke will know she's filming. <laughs> so, but like right before. So she can get ready. But like right before. But yeah. So then she'll, she'll, I'll tell her, yeah, you know, work out tomorrow at like two. And then she'll show up and I'm like, hey, how's it going? Oh, good. And we're just, you know, Chatting. shooting the shit. And then Colby walks in and I go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. Every so, time. I know. Every and time. Then I, so I've stopped myself lately and hi, Colby. How are you? Inside, she's like, I oh, hate fuck. you, Brooke. Now we're having to film again. <laughs> but yeah, so sorry. I, I just wanted to publicly say that. Oh, I, don't, okay. I don't dislike you. That's she okay. actually yeah. quite likes we get, you. We, we, get, we, get like along. you. we get along great. We do. Yeah. We do. All right. Now tell us about yourself. Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Enough well, about us. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, what do you want to know? What do you want to know about So okay. you graduated from UCSC. What Where did you graduate? From? Oh, I gra- what did I graduate? I graduated... With with uh, a film degree, okay, yeah, a bachelor's in film production, which was sick. Uh-huh. Where'd you grow up? Oh, I grew up in Redding, California, way up north, small town. Uh huh. Did you? So I was referencing surfing, but that's because Colby loves to surf. I absolutely. He love got it. you he surfing. It. Yeah, he got me into it more. No, I mean you've done it before. I but had done it before, but now I'm like it. into it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's way more fun to go with him and his girlfriend Josefina. Totally. It's way more fun to go out there with them. Um, yeah. Also, because it's terrifying. That was one thing in Santa Cruz. Like, I remember it's like terrifying to go because you don't want to get in anyone's way. <laughs> yeah. Because you'll get yelled at. Oh, mm-hmm. locals are heavy out here for sure. Oh, yeah. But, but the surfing- did you surf up there before you like got into it at, in school or did you really get into it in college? Um, I really got into it in college. I started when I was like 19. And then um, I pretty much, you know, took... The, my school years off when I was going to school up north and then I would move down to San Diego for the summer try to learn how to surf and then it finally got to a point where I was going to transfer schools and I was like you know what I'm going to transfer to somewhere close to good surf and then UC Santa Cruz uh, accepted me and I was like I'm there yeah awesome yeah I mean the most epic surf I think in California is right You're such here. a surfer I followed the surf bro <laughs> yeah totally no <laughs> totally I mean surfing is definitely affected yeah followed the water followed the surf bro gotta do it gotta do it for yeah. for the ride for yeah. sure okay. um, and then to answer some questions too the bronco is colby's i've seen some questions are like is that your your bronco no it's colby's and it's dope yeah your, par- I, your parents got that for you for a graduation present kind of yeah so so i actually came home in that bronco when i was born and then my parents gave it to me when i was 16 i absolutely destroyed it like any 16 year old with a badass four yeah. by four wood and then they, so then it was kind of sitting at their house because it, it wasn't functional anymore. And then you really destroyed I, it. I, I, I'd really I'm destroyed thinking, it. What did you do to it? Well, up in like Redding too, you could like really go off-roading. Oh, because you were. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I was living up Redding and Redding and just, you know, mudding every day uh-huh. and kind of living that more like a, 
redneck life up yeah. there but anyway uh yeah Hell so yeah my, my parents were like yo you want a car and i was like you know i'd really just love to have my bronco back like a, as a functioning vehicle so they were like you know what? We'll, we'll rebuild the engine for your graduation present so oh, re- rebuild the engine. Really nice. yeah yeah my brother and They're dad like you did screwed it, so. it up one time yeah. <laughs> you're, like, oh, you're like there's way less area to go off-roading and and i think here. i'm a little more mature too yes, yeah yes yeah. you're a grown definitely. up now yeah definitely very cool um another question people were asking which is like kind of why they wanted to meet colby and then they wanted to you guys wanted to uh know how we met that's a good one yeah do you want to tell the story or yeah i I love telling the story because so many people ask me like how do you meet brooke okay so i actually found a post on linkedin which is crazy and then i applied for the post and then i emailed you know i after like a week or so i dm'd brooke on instagram She's like, oh, you know, I think uh, I already found a videographer. And I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. And then like two months later. I think it was even more than that. Maybe more than no, that. No, I, I think it was longer. It was longer. Because yeah. like, um, I remember talking to you on Instagram. You sent me uh, like a reel. Or you sent me oh, some yeah, that's right. work that's that right. you did. And then I had just got contacted with my, the videographer I had before you. And I had known him for a really long time. And started working together and I think me and John worked together for probably like like five months yeah four I, I or five like months while. and then that wasn't you know he was having a baby you know life happens and I was needing to look for a videographer again and I was like remembered this boy that I had talked to but I could not remember your name for the life of me I started scrolling I was like going through my dms like trying to like just going way she back. Was. Trying she was. She'd already to find, told me about you. Trying to find yeah. this person that I didn't remember the name. So it's like, I'm like, I feel like if I see it, I'm going to remember. I never found anything. And then I was, you know, trying to think like, where, how else can I find this person? This is like a couple of days of trying to, or more, trying to figure this out. Going to my email and I'm like, how can I search an email that's like deep <laughs> in my emails? <laughs> so I start trying to like search like words that may have been in the like topic or the subject line and then i found your email yeah i'll actually emailed you never forget the day that i got that message you know months later i remember being on the ucsc bus going to class going to uh i think it was my narrative film class and i was like oh my god like this might actually happen i was like (laughs) she's like do you want to meet for an interview i was like yes 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 (laughs) and then we met for an interview and then uh i guess the rest is history right so cool yeah so wait so did you know who brooke was yeah, I actually, it's so crazy because 2015 was my first year of college. That was my freshman year. And I remember sitting in my house with all my house roommates and we were all into going to the gym and stuff and we were watching the CrossFit games and, and we were actually following Brooke. That's when I first had become a fan was way back in 2015. And I remember we were watching like Sarah Sigmund's daughter and like, you know, all the other daughters and just like watching the games and just like, you know, cheering for her. And then literally, you know, only five years later, so I'm crazy. working for her as like her videographer. The thing is, I knew Brooke lived here in Santa Cruz. When I first moved here, I was like, oh, that would be so cool. Like two years ago, I was like, oh, that'd be so cool to be a videographer for like a professional athlete. That's like kind of like my dream job. And so the fact that this like happened, like that this fell into place as it did is just like an, such an incredible opportunity and such has been such an incredible experience. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. It really, it really has come full circle from like, you yeah. know, five years ago being like finding out who she was and then moving to Santa Cruz being like knowing that you were here and right. now then, you know, working with you every day or, you know, most of the days. Yeah. 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 I remember sitting down, we met at Abbott square Uh huh. and I, you know, I basically was like, we were just talking about stuff and I had to ask him, I was like, so are you okay to travel? And he's <laughs> like, absolutely. I'm like, cause, cause we're gonna, we're gonna travel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, a, I'm like, the plan is to pretty much be able to try and take you everywhere. Mm-hmm. So we can really, you know, make a push to get the vlog going again and actually like do YouTube in a way to have it be um, like a business, which I never, that was never... I never did that. Like people might think that I did, but I did not. Like I didn't want to do YouTube and have it feel like a job because I already, you know, with sponsors and com- a competition, like it's like being pulled in a million directions. Like the last thing I wanted was another thing that I had to like, it was kind of like weight on you. Right. 
that and- or like a podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that too. <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah yeah i know remember when we started the podcast i, I was like i don't know i remember we sat down I mean, now we talk about the podcast i will say we sat yeah. down with these guys well these guys the people that produce it for us or they don't produce it but they they work on it i guess yeah I um they promote it promote it yeah and they go they wanted to know what our our goal was our goal <laughs> and they wanted to know um Almost like what our topic is. Like, what is it about? And I remember, like, Gina was fucking terrified. <laughs> I was terrified. She oh, was like, so like this. out of her element, like, 100%. Because we had been joking about having a podcast before we started. And <laughs> she was so out of her element. I literally, she told me, she goes, I'm not saying anything. I did. I don't think I did. I, they would ask me questions. I'd go, um, whatever, whatever Brooke wants. <laughs> <laughs> She did. We're like at this huge conf- like a conference table yeah. and I'm like, what the fuck am I doing here? And I basically laid it out right yeah. in the beginning. I was like, I don't know. Uh, we don't really have a concept. A concept. Like we're just going to, you know, it'll be health, it'll be <laughs> fitness. I'm like, but yeah, we don't have like one thing we're going to really talk about. <laughs> and we went into it being like, we'll do this for a year and it could be good or it could be really bad. People may like it or they may not, but we are not going to do something that is just going to stress us out. Right. Like we didn't want it to be something that would just stress us out. Right. Turns out there's enough of you that enjoy us that we're still <laughs> doing it. Still here. Yeah. So anyway, so back to the YouTube. Yeah. And Sorry. now we're just. So so you didn't really set out to do the YouTube. No. And, but and uh, it got to a point where it was like I wasn't doing it anymore and. I have, you know, business partners like Jake from Naked. Like he would tell me all the time, like, dude, you you have like all these subscribers <laughs> just sitting there. Right. And I knew that I wanted to do it again, but I couldn't do it on my own. Like I I filmed myself a lot. That's how I started. I filmed I mean, mo- almost most of the videos right. were from I would go on trips and then I would like I would vlog and then come home. They'd be edited and we'd we'd upload it. And I knew that if I was going to do it again, I needed to have a videographer and that's, and I wanted to find someone that I could say, Hey, I want you to do this <laughs> and I want it, to, we want it to grow and be worth something. And I really need someone who wants to sort of produce it, like bring me, help me by bringing me ideas, help me by doing research and learning what we need to do different. So I could really let go of a lot of those because that you have to do that. You have to like know how things are changing. You got to know where to put the ads. You got to know like so much stuff. And Colby was bright eyed, bushy tailed, almost out of college. And I was like, yes, <laughs> got him, got him, got me for sure. <laughs> yeah. And we're doing, we're, we're crushing it. We, you know, we, we talked about what our kind of goal was, like how many videos we'd like to be producing a week. Um, where could we start? And We've got a really, it has not had really any growing pains. It's just, we've, you, he's been so great to work with and you just get better and better. Yeah. I mean, honestly, we just get into that, like just more efficient workflow. Yeah. And I mean, we've, we've just been, the YouTube channel has been crushing it, honestly. And then, yeah. Then subscribers well, have been and we're going doing, up. We're also going on like way cooler adventures. Like things yeah. are opening up. I mean, we went fishing the other day. Yeah. I mean, yeah. We really? Didn't, we, oh, didn't, yeah. we didn't catch any fish, but, <laughs> <laughs> but, but we went fishing for but sure. We I mean, went. we were out there. We were definitely out there. Uh, the pond was kind of like uh, kind of gross, but it was. Uh, <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> well, we, 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 we went fishing at the pier. Yeah, we went fishing at the pier. And then we were going to go fishing again. We went to REI to get a bunch of stuff for my trip to Yosemite. Oh, right. Okay. And then we went and we were going to get tackle and then we were going to go to. Do you remember the name of yeah, it? Yeah, it was like Lexington. Lexington. Oh, Reservoir? Reservoir. Reservoir, yeah. Oh, can you fish in that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, People I were didn't fishing. Know that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we were the only one not catching fish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the we thing, caught the thing is, I do actually fish. Like, I grew up fishing, but I have yet to catch did a you, fish. In I sand. just want to know, like, did you talk like a big game? Like, oh, yeah, no, I got this. No, totally. Like, I <laughs> totally did. I was like, yo, I, I know exactly the lure. Like, this is a for right. sure. And the right. I was like, you know, a little iffy on the pier fishing. I'm not, I didn't grow up near an ocean, but definitely the lake. I was like, I got this. Yeah. We went nothing. out there, nothing. <laughs> hour, nothing. hour, nothing. Not got, even a bite. All, all we right. came home with was an extremely dirty dog. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Maggie was, oh, that was rough. Dude. Oh, and Max. it was like, you know, the water's low. 
Oh, yeah. So then you had her, like, when we first were starting, I'm like, no one's around. I'm just going to, I'll let her off leash because I'm like, hang on to her. And it was really hot. And she just starts, I didn't recognize, like, the amount. Like, you thought my grass was bad with sticker burrs? Oh, yeah. Dude. Not just stickers, but... um. Uh, what was the name of that? I don't know. I think we were just calling it the devil's plant. I don't know. It was, <laughs> it was just like, that huge They spike. were like this big. They looked like little mini uh, sea urchins. Yeah. Oh, I know Spiky, what you're talking about. You know what I'm about. talking about? Mm-hmm. And they were getting stuck in her, but she was having a ball. <laughs> she had a black mustache. <laughs> her feet were all black, and she was just digging in that nasty pond water. <laughs> Gross. She loved it. Yeah. She loved every second of it. But we didn't catch a fish, and I was like, we'll go, we'll go again. We'll go again. I got better at casting. Okay. You know, I fished. I've been fishing, but when I was young mm-hmm. with my dad. And uh, has I used been to go a fishing long with my dad. time. He quit taking me fishing because he would catch the fish and I'd feel bad for them. So I'd put them back in when he wasn't looking. <laughs> <laughs> hurry, Perfect. hurry, swim away. So, <laughs> that was the last time he took me fishing. But yeah, I think, I think the fishing trip was sick. And then, you know, we're going to continue to go on like more badass adventures and yeah. surfing and just when things are opening up, you know, that's helping out a lot with the channel, you know? Right. We're not totally sheltered in place in the house yeah, it anymore. Got, it got weird. I mean, it was kind of tough in the beginning because, you know, we noticed too, like people were like not super, not that they weren't entertained, but like we were doing what we could for shelter in place. They didn't want to yeah. just keep watching you weeding. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was yeah. our first day we met when you were, when it was. We were weeding. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Sure no, was. they were like, "Wow, Brooke, um, we like you, but uh, your friends <laughs> can are only watch you weed way so many times. <laughs> Where are your friends at? Well, they're sheltered in place, right? And uh, not with me. There's only a few of them. But here I am again, talking to worms. <laughs> yes, I was. I, talk, was, I was definitely talking to worms. My favorite thing is to me. do it is you. <laughs> Honestly, it's your brows. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I knew you just liked me for my brows. I do. I like them so much more now that you have a better product. <laughs> you guys, we're talking about brows. We're talking about Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's the number one U.S. brow brand. And there's a reason for that. It is bomb. Their products are so great. The first name in brows for over 30 years for naturally beautiful, fuller, look, fuller looking brows. And natural really is a key. It is. You don't want an unnatural brow. No. Nobody wants an unnatural brow, guys. They have brow definer and the brow whiz and clear brow gel, which I've really grown to like. I mean, I always liked it, but I never, I don't think I ever really used it correctly. I, I've never been a huge brow gel user, but now I am. Well, now, especially with because, Anastasia. Yeah, because you can get your brows going in the right direction. Yeah, you don't want and them, you don't, you don't want them to look like somebody just like blew on them and they just went. <laughs> <laughs> I want them to stick in place. Uh, I do highly recommend the brow definer, especially if you do have pretty full brows, but maybe there's like they're spotty. That's how mine mm-hmm. are, and I have really, got to fill it in. I have really blonde eyebrows, and they're darker towards the center, like center of my face, but they get really light on the outside. Yeah, so you can just fill them right in. Yeah, I fill them in. Looks real natural. You guys go to AnastasiaBeverlyHills.com today and use promo code Reps to get fifteen percent off your first order. That's A N A S T A S I A beverlyhills.com you'll get 15 percent off your first order just use just use promo code reps at checkout shipping stuff shipping can be, is a total pain yeah it, it is a total pain it's literally the worst yeah hate it <laughs> it's the why do you worst. think i never send anything back i'm saying anything i ever order i never send back no shipping neither. is such a pain <laughs> in the ass dude i probably still have stuff with tags on that i like actually in my closet right now i have yeah. a box right. with a bunch of pants i ordered because you know no one can go and buy stuff anywhere in yeah. stores right now so i ordered pants to try on oh no they don't fit didn't like them <laughs> they're still in the plastic wrapping in the box in my closet i'm well, gonna now, up, i'm gonna end up just giving them away well now however you can make it easier yes with ship station which the gym uses we do use it. Super easy, making stuff so convenient. You can print you print your labels. You get the best uh, best cost. Yeah, best rates. Yeah. No matter where you're selling, Amazon, Etsy, your own website, uh, westfitness.com. <laughs> ShipStation brings all your orders into one simple interface, making them really easy to manage from any device, even your cell phone, which easy I, I use everything with my cell phone. 
It also works with all major carriers, including USPS, FedEx, UPS, even Amazon Fulfillment. Yeah, so you can compare and choose the best shipping solution for you and your customer. They even offer big discounts on shipping costs. Now any business can access the same postage discount. <laughs> Discounts. Same postage discounts that are usually reserved for large Fortune 500 companies. You'll always know that you're getting the best deal, which is so important, especially with like new companies that maybe are transitioning to now selling online. Absolutely. And right now, Between the Reps listeners can try ShipStation free for 60 days when you use offer code BETWEEN. Make sure your business is ready to meet the demands of delivery culture. Get started at ShipStation.com today. Click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in between. That's shipstation.com, then offer, enter offer code between. Shipstation.com. Make, Make ship, ship happen. happen. Ship it. Ship it. Do your sisters just had a baby? Yeah. She had a little baby boy. So cute. Baby number two. She's got two babies and it's wild at their house. It always is. Yeah. And something, so she's been wanting to like, she's always been really, really athletic um, swam growing up and she wants to get back in shape. She's trying to get back in shape. And I mentioned that she just, she should try beach body just because, you know, there's so many different options for workouts that she can just, you know, jump on her TV and do it. But she's been doing the pre and post natal bar blend and she's actually really enjoying it. It's awesome. Yeah. I love seeing, so easy just to do at home. Yeah. I love seeing programs popping up that are very specific for women like that like around baby time. For sure. Beachbody is the company that was behind P90X, Insanity, and the 21 Day Fix. Now you can check out some of the Beachbody's newest programs like Muscle Burns Fat and 80 Day Obsession and start every day strong. Or pre and postnatal bar blend, which that's when we were talking or about. Or bodybuilding, weight training, cardio, HIT, yoga, and even, even dance, dance workouts. Workout. I'd be into that. I would be Gina, too. Gina, we would crush it. Cr oh, well, you would crush it. <laughs> I mean, we would. Yeah, right. Yeah, so if you guys are looking for something to just kind of mix up your training at home, um, make things a little bit more exciting. Something with that you don't have to have equipment for. Yeah, check out Beachbody. To get a special free trial membership, text REPS to 303030. You'll get full access to the entire platform, all the workouts, nutrition information, and support absolutely free. Just text REPS to 303030. No, we do. We do have some cool stuff coming up. Um, you have the trip. Yeah, I'm going to Yosemite. Are you not going? Uh, I'm not going uh, on this uh, one now. Okay. But no. I think we might be going to Utah potentially. Fun. Yes. Um, we'll be in Salt Lake for FitCon. Oh, that's right. Very yeah. cool. And then uh, Lake Powell. First. Of, oh, you're first going to that. First oh, yeah. of September. Oh, uh, can't go on that. Nope. I always want you to go, and why can't you go? I can't. I <laughs> tell Colby. Oh, well, I have a syndrome. Oh, no. <laughs> it's called Malde Debarkment Syndrome. And I didn't know what it was, but I'd gone on a houseboat at least a couple times. And every time I'd get off the boat, I would feel super sick. It would be almost as if I had vertigo. And I would, I would literally get up out of bed and I would fall over. Or I would fall in the shower. Or it's like she's still my equilibrium was off. And so we had no idea what it was. It lasted for a couple of weeks. And then I went to like a bunch of different doctors. And so they just came up with this thing. They were like, we think you have mal de debarkment syndrome. And I was like, is that like French for bad debarking? Like what? <laughs> what is that? So I looked it up and sure enough, of course, it it is predominant in older women who have gone through menopause. Um, for some people, it lasts just a couple of days. For some people, a couple of weeks. And for some people, years. So for me, Brooke's been trying to get me to go on this trip forever. And I'm like, nope, can't. No, I won't. Damn, I won't risk it. Out. You're missing out. I am missing out, but I don't want to be sick for weeks at a time after. So That's, yeah. there's something just wrong with my brain, <laughs> which people, I mean, obviously. And honestly, I mean, so. I can't risk her having that for the rest <laughs> of her life because She's with me for the rest of her life. <laughs> right. It's true. That's very well, true. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah, you guys are connected. I appreciate you understanding. Have to, like, <laughs> wear, make her wear pads <laughs> everywhere, like elbow pads and a helmet because she just. <laughs> <laughs> just falling over everywhere. And then like, and then, you know, maybe it's so bad that I actually have to take a, like, a leash and like 
tie her to my belt. <laughs> so if she does start to tip over. You just start dragging me. No, I make sure you were wearing a harness. Oh. You know what I mean? It's going to be so like, like Maggie on one side and me <laughs> on the other. <laughs> She's just got her two girls Let's on the leash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds promising. <laughs> I would do a harness like, you know, there would be a, be a better chance of you not falling over. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, so like hold me upright. Yes. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. So yeah, so I will not be there, but. I know we're it's already always like 20 minutes into this thing. But yeah. Do you guys look at the camera? No. I mean, you know, sometimes if I'm talking to you guys. No. Oh, okay. People. I'm just talking. If I'm talking, to, if I'm trying to direct a message directly to the people. Colby's like, where do I listening. put, where do I look? Yeah. I, I totally forgot about that. I was like, oh, yeah, look? you can, forget we just about, talk you, like we're on yeah, the couch. Yeah. Totally. You forget about that. Every okay. once in a while, you can go like this. Quick little glance. Yeah. All right. If you Lock want. in. <clears throat> if you want. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. So that's your next adventure is, well, Utah and then. Utah. I got to take Colby to the ranch. Oh, I can't wait for the ranch. Yeah. That's going to be so fun. And then uh, Salt Lake, uh, Lake Powell. Um, I mean, yeah, pretty much the goal is to, if I if I have something coming up I have to go to, um, have, Colby have him it. there, especially yeah, if, if we if we need to like be filming. It's awesome. Be filming. It's a great job. Dude, it's like literally a dream job. Honestly, yeah. I... I I told Brooke in the beginning, I was like, I will do anything. I will go anywhere. <laughs> I'm completely open, free schedule, yeah. seven days a week. Yeah. Because like I said, I mean, this is like every videographer's dream. And then like, you know, coming off my senior year of college straight into this has been an incredible yeah. you know, oh, I bet. opportunity. So cool. So uh, I have a question. What, what would be, what was your first impression of Brooke? Dude, oh, and then oh, I man. look at her, she's like. <laughs> I'm like trying to remember like the moment I sat down. Way over at Abbott Square. Oh, well, I mean, like, I got all, like, ready for the interview and stuff, and I was, like, kind of going over, like, notes and, like, you know, the normal stuff, and then I get there, and, and the interview was maybe, like, one minute, and she, <laughs> she, she sits down. You're hired. <laughs> no, she, <laughs> you thought I had a lot of choices. <laughs> You're hired. <laughs> Listen, there were a, there no, were a lot kidding. of there were a lot of people that wrote in for LinkedIn. No, but it I was know. like it was just nobody that it wasn't. It wasn't. There wasn't. You were really excited the, about there him. Pe perfect people for the job. I yeah. wanted like dream person was someone coming out of college. Right. I wanted someone who um, was young, had a fresh was young, yeah, had a you know fresh ideas, fresh ideas that was gonna have a free ish schedule mm -hmm. um that Had wasn't already wasn't already for sure hustle bright eyed bushy tailed ready to travel with me didn't have a you know a full time job that they couldn't leave i needed someone who really could like give me all their time and that we could that would be excited about kind of like taking on that role of like me being like here's my youtube channel <laughs> literally it's like all yours she gave me the youtube channel like account and password was like no way. Like, is this really <laughs> happening? This like, uh, 300 subscri uh, subscribers, like, that's just yeah. insane. You know? 300,000, so, guys. 300,000. 300,000, yeah. <laughs> crazy. We're at what? 313 now? 313. And, and we, I think we started at, like, 290-something. Nice. 299 nice. or something. Yeah. We're, we're, we're You're cruising. growing it. We're You're growing, growing it. it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice job, Cole. Crushing. Thank you. Crushing Thank you. it. So, um, so, what was your first impression? Oh, I was oh, like, yeah. man, she's intense. <laughs> Like, hey, she is intense. She came here. She sat down. She's like, hey, I think the best way for, to do this is a trial video. She's like, meet me here at this time and this day. And I was like, oh, all right. I'll be there. <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> that's that. And then she left. And I was like, oh, okay. I, I had all this stuff written out. I was like trying to, you know, like prolong it a little, like a little longer, yeah. saying some, some stuff that I knew, yeah. stating some facts, you know, and uh, nope, we're there. So what, was the, so what was the first video? Uh, I don't want to. Uh, it was like a Curhy video. Yeah, it, it was, was a like workout a video. Workout oh, okay. video at CrossFit Curhy. I think it was in February. Okay. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then we, we cooled off because of, you know, COVID. Stuff right. Like that. Yeah, right. So. But yeah, that was, a, that was a long time ago. That video was something. That's for sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was something. <clears throat> you know, though, too, it was like they're, because they're, well, one, like I was like, prepping for a competition and we're trying to find like how can we oh, that's get right. this going that. and like find the time <clears throat> and then we had covid and it was like really like i mean 
I don't know what we're going to film, you know? Right. And so then it was like this in between. And then between the two of us, it was like, all right. Well, and Colby, and you were still in school. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was still finishing up school. Yeah, right. I was finishing up my last projects, which which was, was okay, you know? Mm -hmm. But uh, definitely was like more stoked on the vlogs than finishing up my... <laughs> well, yeah. <duh. laughs> I was like, <laughs> hell yeah. Homework. He's yeah. like, you want to film? Yeah. But yeah, now, I mean, we just, we also had time to because of covid like a, not like a slow start but we were we were able to like all right let's let's film and and it's you know it was getting better and um then like creating a schedule like i talked to him i was like let's just create a schedule so you know how much time you need to edit let's pick days we're going to film and then leave days for editing and knowing that we want to try let's try and get two videos a week mm-hmm Right. And then we have the podcast comes out once a week too. So it's, we're uploading three videos, but I want to be putting out more videos that are like, good content besides the podcast. Right. Cause there was a period of time where we, I wasn't filming. Right. And we, people were like, this oh, is just great. turning we into a podcast, podcast channel. Again. Yeah, totally. I'm pretty sure I read comments that were like two, two. It was one <laughs> comment. You keep repeating a the comment. one comment. A comment. I can remember. It was it. like That's women uh, was. bitching. Yeah, oh, great. Another yep. video of feminist women, women, women bitching, bitching on a the whole couch. time or and something. Like, bitching on a couch. Yeah, I, I mean, sometimes. Yeah. I mean, sometimes. I mean, not that much. We don't yeah. do a lot of bitching. But Whatever. yeah, and now we're just cruising. Yeah, yeah. creating vlogs, yeah, podcasts, it's adventures. It's great. It's yeah. like literally the funnest life of all time. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yeah, you're living your best life. Absolutely, and 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 I mean, like one of the vlogs was surfing. I was surfing with Brooke. My girlfriend vlogging, working. I right. mean, come on. Yeah, I can't, <laughs> does it get any better? No, it doesn't. You're so adorable. <laughs> that was a that was an incredible day. That was a good surf day. Yeah, that that, that, so vlog, that vlog crushed it too. I know. Well, that's what I was gonna say. So you've got a lot of really good feedback. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of good feedback. Yeah, lately. yeah, totally. It's awesome. I mean, definitely. Um, you know, learning a lot about you know vlog structure, and then like you know we've been. I switched over to her camera, which mm -hmm. is was a huge jump from what I was used to and what I was learning in school and using their cameras in school. And, and then, um, and then just switching over to like learning how to create a successful, entertaining vlog. Mm -hmm. I did like vlogging on my own channel years ago, but it, it, there is like a, there is a certain structure that like professional vlogs take. And so just kind of learning that was a huge, huge, uh, like milestone in mm -hmm. this career that I've entered. And, and I think that's really improved. And I think that's what's helping, you know, the channel. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I mean, I've read a lot of comments that they are saying like they love the new style because it's easier for them to follow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. And yeah. I think, yeah, we're just crushing it. Yeah, we're and, and we're just switching it up too, I think, all the time, depending on what we're doing, you know? Like, uh, you know, we, we get the workouts in and then we could do some adventures and, and who knows what we'll be doing later on, you know? Yeah, I know. Always keeping it fresh, yeah. exciting. We're going to take Gina surfing. I was waiting for you to yes. say that. <laughs> I've been trying to. I was to, yep, waiting. Yep. No. Gina, you're going. No. For sure. That's uh, that's just pure entertainment right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. We'll see. You can just stay on your belly, but you can catch some waves. <laughs> I'm just going to be out there on my belly. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's that I girl mean, even doing out here? Uh, when I went out with Colby, it was like. Isn't that how the sharks really the, think I'm going to be the, a seal? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I went out with Colby, it was like the best time uh, and performance I've had surfing. Like yeah. it, just, it was just, it was so great. I was honestly like so worried. I was like, oh my God, like what if, if she happens. Yeah. Like if this goes bad, like surfing is completely out of the vlogs. <laughs> like how do I make this go as good as possible? And literally didn't have to do anything. Like right. she just shredded every single wave. It was crazy. I know she has that ability. <clears throat> Yeah, super. I athletic. ate it a few times too. It's pretty funny, dude. Slams, heavy slams. I did really heavy, slams. heavy oh, yeah. slams. <laughs> <laughs> but they were so funny, so funny. That was a great day. It was. It was awesome. Like I don't think there's anything I've ever seen you do that you're not really that good at, except for maybe spike ball. Yeah, I'm not that good you're at not it. Not that great at I've it. I've gotten better though. Yeah, I played with my parents um, when I was in San Diego, and well, I remember we were. Like, I think we were a team. We were just sucked. Yeah. Um, I think that's the only thing. It also, for me, like... I'm all, what else playing, are you not good at? Like playing on the beach. Because that's what I'm going to play with you from now on. Playing on the beach, <laughs> I'm a little bit more uh, willing to... Sacrifice send, your like, body. Sacrifice my body. Yeah. You know, and just mm -hmm. go for stupid shit. Mm -hmm. But like other places, like I think I'm... It's taken me some serious time, which I haven't played it a ton. But like time to like really... <laughs> She's like, oh, I will get better. 
I'm going to do it. Now that you called me out. No, like I haven't played it a ton to like really understand like how you got to move with your teammate Mm -hmm. around the net. Right. You know, because I think one thing that makes it difficult for me is I have approached it, even still do, like you would volleyball where like you're on one side, they're on Mm -hmm. one side. And that's when people would always right, just like crush you because they understand that you go, you move all around right. to, you know, to get like, to slam it. Slam it. Is yeah. there anything else you're not good at? Tennis. Perfect. Not great at Perfect. it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not either though. I'm really not good at it. Yeah. Yeah. No. I have a like, good hand-eye coordination, but for some reason when I have that giant, like I can hit a baseball, but you give me a giant racket. And it's like, where's the ball? <laughs> <laughs> I can see it. Or it just goes it. like straight up or yes. something. Yeah. It's like how you hit it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Maybe we'll take tennis lessons. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm going to be starting to do uh, horse riding lessons. Oh, fun. Yeah. Yeah. She's getting her, her cowgirl on. All right. Yeah. I mean, I rode, I mean, I grew up riding horses, Western. And then when I did Wonder Woman, we were riding European, so like the tiny little saddles. Oh yeah. And when I was riding out there, we were riding like extremely well trained horses. And I wanted to continue that when I was home. My dad was like, If you move if you move home, I'll get you lessons out here. Oh, he's trying. <laughs> I know. But I did find a place out here up in Bonnie Dune, actually. Okay. And I had went up and I we were just on a drive and I went in and I asked I talked to the woman who runs the stables up there. She gave me her email. I contacted her and then COVID happened. So then it was like, oh, they were kind of shut down. Yeah. But I just reached back out to see if she had any availability. She did. She responded and said she does. It's, she doesn't have a ton, but let her like, let her know my schedule. And I basically was like, I'm pretty much open. Yeah. Besides whenever. like occasionally being out of town, mm-hmm. I can, if we had a day we were going to ride, I would just adjust things around it. So yeah, so we're going to. We're going to ride horses. Yeah, a little sneak peek into the future vlogs. Horses. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, horse. so are you going to ride a horse? Too? Or I'm a hort. You're a horse, hort too? No, I think I'll probably be behind the camera. But gonna be, well, no, you could still be behind the camera. Oh, on a horse. I, yeah, that's true. GoPro. Yeah, on a horse, yeah. of course. Just <laughs> get the just, gimbal going. Just moving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The whole thing Boom. is up and down. Boom. Boom. Yeah. And I have this issue. Like I, So when I was out doing Wonder Woman um, and we're training, they'd always have to say to me, Okay, Brooke, stop bouncing. And I'm like, I can't help it. So this is my issue. Um, When you're on the horse to like stay in place, right? right, You you hug their bellies. Mm -hmm. And to stay on, because we would do so much trotting and then we would do so much cantering, which is loping or like, you know, the more like that smooth sort Mm of uh, motion you see people do when they're riding. And- I could canter fine because you really, you sit with your, you really put the weight into your, in the stirrups and you kind of like sit back into the saddle, but with trotting to be able to do it and not be bouncing. Oh yeah. Cause you're just like ding, 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 bouncing ding, ding, ding. out of the yeah. saddle. It's a matter of just like you hang on like this, like you hug. Here was the problem. My legs are a lot bigger than <laughs> my hips are really narrow and I have big, th- big legs. And so when I would hug the horse, there's not a lot of like, my my hips aren't wide enough for me to not, when my legs would squeeze, right, to like hang on, it closes that space and it automatically pushes my butt up out of the saddle. Oh, (laughs) right. And I'm like, like, I tried to explain it to the woman who was teaching us. I was like, I'm trying. (laughs) It's just my legs. I'm like, but w- the second I like hang on, you know, cause it's like just a hug. It's like, all that's happening is I'm taking my legs and they're getting closer together and it's causing my it's butt. Pushing, it's pushing, rising up. you up. Yes. Right. So when we were trotting, it was like aggressive <laughs> for me. <laughs> like everyone else, like these, you know, other like actresses and, yeah. uh, just look so they're beautiful. Just effortlessly they're just, like, just <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, I look so cool. <laughs> That's exactly it. Am I doing my best? Can we go faster? I look way better. <laughs> I can actually stay in the saddle. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, we are going to ride horses. Fun. Yeah, that'll be exciting. It'll be fun. Dude, we just went camping and we were so disgusting. 
smelly. Smelly. Well, we didn't, there wasn't a shower. Yeah, we didn't have a shower. But what a, was our saving grace? Native deodorant. Da- native deodorant. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> uh, beautiful place we went to. But they're, and they're in the process of like building out like a shower there. But we were their first guests at mm-hmm. this new like glamping location. And they didn't have a shower. I rinsed off with the hose a few times. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I just wanted to rub that native all over my body. Seriously. I should have put it on my feet. My, my feet stunk. In between your toes. Yeah. Anyway, guys, we're talking about native. Yeah, native deodorant doesn't just block odor better. It's made better. Native has ingredients you've heard of like coconut oil, shea butter, tapioca starch. It's also vegan and never tested on animals. Which is very important. Yeah. Maggie's in the clear. Thank God. Switching to an aluminum-free deodorant doesn't mean you have to sacrifice an odor protection. Native will keep you smelling and feeling fresh all day. They have lots of different flavors you can choose from. Flavors. Flavors. <laughs> <laughs> smells, if you want to eat it, you can because it's all natural. Sm- <laughs> scents. Like smells. <laughs> lots of smells you can choose from. Lots of smells. Yeah. Some of the most popular are coconut and vanilla, lavender and rose, cucumber and mint, cucumber and mint, and citrus and herb. <laughs> herbal so go out and do what we did and make the switch to native today by going to native deo.com slash reps or use promo code reps at checkout and get 20 percent off of your first order that's native deo.com slash reps or use promo code reps at checkout for 20 percent off your first order yeah and i highly recommend the coconut and vanilla it's bomb you guys there's a really great Uh, company that you should check out if you're someone who is either you know just wanting to talk to someone maybe going through something really some difficult times in your life um, just dealing with stress anxiety and honestly situational depression I mean I was that was a struggle for me spending so much time at home and not really I don't live near my family you know can't see a lot of people interaction yeah yeah you guys got to check out better help better help is available for clients worldwide There's a broad range of expertise available, which may not be locally available in many areas. Licensed professionals, counselors who are specialized in depression, stress, anxiety, relationships, sleeping, trauma, anger, family conflicts, LGBT matters, grief, self-esteem. Anything you share is confidential. It's convenient, professional, affordable, and you can check out testimonials that they post daily on their site. And if you don't like your, the person that they put you with, you can change at any point. Yeah. It's super convenient. You don't have to, you know, search out a new person to go and speak with or, or work with. Um, you don't have to drive anywhere. You can do it from the comfort of your own home. Um, if you're traveling, comfort of your hotel room, whatever. And they they respond really, really fast. So if you want to start living a happier life today, as a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting betterhelp.com slash reps. Join over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash reps and i've told my dad my you know i've asked for two things at the ranch a hairy cow and a hairy cow you ever seen the cows that are just oh the extra hairy long hair okay they're so cute okay my dad we have cattle Mm -hmm. and i'm like but i want a hairy cow my dad's like what are you gonna do with a hairy cow and i was like dad a pet and pet the cow i'm like we're not gonna eat that cow that's not happening. This is <laughs> just this just the cow that it's a it's a family it's the hairy cow it's a family pet, and then I when I was in Utah, just barely me and my dad are out there building fence and I was like, hey dad, I don't know if the hairy cow could handle this heat and he goes, I was thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's true though. So I'm not getting a hairy cow, so that one's off. But I want a mini horse, and again he uh, said, what are we gonna do with a mini horse? And I was like, dad, like a dog, totally. like Arnold Schwarzenegger has mini horses. Yeah, no, the, I told you the lady that bought our old house in Scotts Valley has mini horses and she would load them up and like walk them on Westcliff. So awesome. Legendary. <laughs> I know. So awesome. Yeah. That, and like Robin Big, they had a mini yes. horse. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's doable. And for like, sure. I, I understand why my dad would say, What are we going to have a mini horse for? Yeah. But I'm, lo- I'm looking at Maggie. She wants a mini horse. Dude. She, she'd ride the mini horse. For sure. She'd just bark at it the whole time. Come on, guys. They'd be buddies. <laughs> and she'd be jealous of it. Yeah, totally. If it gets any attention from Brooke, are you kidding me? She'd just be plotting ways to murder it. <laughs> <laughs> like just, all those like scary cat videos I see on TikTok <laughs> where it's like this like scare. It's like, it usually says something like uh, thinking about something about your cat killing you. 
Oh, great. And it's like this like scary music and it like zooms in and it's always someone who like the cat's across the room yeah. or like in the stairs, but it's, it's like, it's, it's got its head popped up. So you just see its eyes and it like <laughs> zooms in on the cat's face. The, terrifying. Yeah, that's, that's Maggie that's to the cats. mini horse. And for <laughs> sure would be, like, are you kidding me? She would hate it. But all right. I was, I told you guys I was going to tell you a story. Oh yeah. Tell us a story. Um, first I'll tell them about Maggie p- almost pooping in the UPS store today. Okay. But you just said you just did it. <laughs> no, I, that's not the story. Oh, okay. Um, had to go to UPS. I had to send a phone, my old iPhone to my mom. She texted me this morning and yesterday to remind me. I get a text this morning. Hey babe, just wanted to remind you to send that to me so I can turn it in. I'm like, okay. I, she texted me again. I had, had a phone call. And so I finished that and I said, I'm going right now. I grab it. I go to the UPS place, put Maggie in our leash and we're walking inside, and I'm thinking to myself, like, man, you don't go to the bathroom in here. <laughs> I didn't say it out loud. I'm like thinking, like, I hope she doesn't have to. We literally walk in the door. There's no line. There's one person at the at the desk. I get to like my little, you know, like the six feet apart, uh, little, like little, sticker on yeah, the ground. Like, yeah. I get there. I literally just turn to look at Maggie, and she's looking directly in my eyes, taking a shit. Like looking at me and she's all like, you know, like, uh, butt tucked under, what's happening to me, (laughs) butt tucked under. And I just go, Oh no, 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 Maggie. No. And I, I grab her and she's still tucked under and I'm like running outside, (laughs) like hoping that no poop has like dropped out, dropped as I'm like running outside, make it outside. She goes to the bathroom. I, uh, don't have a bag. I get in my car to find anything I could use as a bag, get it picked up walking back up the stairs to go in and now there's a full line of course so that sucked that's, that's also a, why i was a late glimpse to my of house. having a child right there yeah um and then here's the next story okay so i get up to the counter i'm like oh i just got to send this back to um the address that was on it was actually the, i put it in the box that my mom had sent me my new phone in i was like your mom sent you a phone yes i'm still on my family plan <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> Uh, I'm still yeah, spoiled. We were with Sprint for a long time. Anyways, they we had to switch over to a new carrier. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm sending it. I'm like, I'm just sending it back to the same address that it came from. Yada, yada, yada. They're like, when do you want to get there? And my mom strictly was like, you do not overnight it. Because she overnight it to me because we were under a time crunch to get this all figured out. And it was like $80 or something. So I'm like, it doesn't need to get there fast, but definitely not like you know, a week. Right. Like a couple weeks. He goes... All right, so the lowest cost, like, you know, twelve something, UPS ground. I can have it there by um, the thirty first, Friday the thirty first. And my first thought was, <laughs> it's almost embarrassing. Oh man, that's way too long. <laughs> <laughs> Which is so me, right? <laughs> Don't know what the date is. It's Wednesday today. It's Wednesday. So it would have been two days. That's, but that's all I know because I didn't know what I couldn't. I for some reason oh, you didn't like, know I the forgot date. the date. Yes, got it. And I first thought was like, and he says he he proceeds to then say, so two days, and I go, oh, and I go, oh yeah, that that'll be fine. And then I stop and I'm like looking like a deer in headlights, and I go, what's the date today? <laughs> and he goes, and I'm like praying. He says the twenty eighth, and he goes, it's the 29th. and I just like. Oh, and I put my head down. And I, 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 there's people in the store. There's like a woman and her daughter next to me and a line of people. And I'm just like mortified. Why? And the woman's like, they're kind of laughing. And I was just like, oh my God, I did it again. I was like, oh, fuck, shit. And they're like looking at me like, what's <gasps> happening? What's wrong? And, no. oh yeah. And I go, oh, like, I'll just tell you. And it's like embarrassing and I feel terrible. And I go, okay, so I'm the youngest in my family. And in in my family, I'm known for never remembering birthdays. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And I'm like, and today is my mom's birthday. I had and just already talked to I her. I was just on FaceTime oh with her. Oh my God. Oh no. That's the worst I've I'm done that before. I'm on FaceTime and I tell him, I'm like, but here's the thing is like, I'm so known for it that 
my family has always played a game where no one's allowed to tell me. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. So they were all. And they just like to, to wait see and see would... how long it will take me to realize it. This has happened to me like days later. Oh, and I'm my like, god. oh my god, and they all laugh. <laughs> and so I'm like mortified because like I have, I put everyone's birthdays that I want to remember in my phone right. and usually put alarms on them, for like the day before. Right. <laughs> and I've recognized, like I've known that my, my mom's birthday was this week. I've known. I've known. I've known. And for some reason, maybe I thought it was like, oh, Thursday. Right. I knew it was middle of the week. I knew it wasn't the weekend. So you'd already talked to her twice today? She texted me in the morning. Okay. And then I had like right after I got off, I had a, I had a phone call, which was a very good phone call. Uh, I can't tell you about it, but I will soon. And then I immediately had a call with Devin. So I'm like on the phone with Devin going over all this stuff. And then I FaceTimed my mom. Really oh, just you to- FaceTimed her? Yeah. Because I wanted to show her this beanie that I had on. <laughs> That's even worse. <laughs> I call her and it's about me. Yeah. <laughs> and worse. um, and my sister's there. And and my sister, this time when I'm FaceTiming her, my sister says, like, you know, she goes, weren't you supposed to be home? And I was like, I, I know, Robin. She goes, weren't you going to be home and come home? And I'm like, I know. I'm like, I, my things are crazy. House goes on the market tonight. Like all this stuff. And then, so I'm, th- I'm replaying this while I'm at UPS. Right. And I'm like, Oh my God, Robin probably said that because she's like, she knew I was trying to be home for my mom's birthday. birthday. She was trying to give you a hint. hint. It it. It gets even better. And then you're like, but how's my beanie look? (laughs) (laughs) It gets even better, dude. I am like frantically like trying to finish up paying at UPS. I go out to the car and I FaceTime my mom and I open it and I go, it's your birthday. And she just starts laughing. <laughs> and this is why it got even more funny. And I still have a victory. Robin, as so I'm telling my mom what happened, I'm like walking her through, like, you know, I'm standing in line and I ask them about the thing. And then they, I'm like, oh shit, what, what's the date? So I guess while I'm talking about what's the date, please tell me it's the 28th. Robin was coming into my mom's bedroom and Robin goes, she, she had spent the she had been there with my mom and didn't and she, she had didn't, forgotten and she had forgotten oh that's Brutal. way worse so robin's you sitting win. there you win in that one it gets even better it gets even better so i have two sisters and a brother my brother's the oldest he was the only one called my mom first thing in the morning and then i have two sisters than me Lacey is like for sure she's the rememberer man she remembers she is the last one to remember <gasps> My mom lets me know. She's like, my mom's letting me know, like, it's okay. And it's a joke. It's a, it's a big joke yeah. at the house. But it got better because Robin, she goes, Robin wouldn't have even remembered if she hadn't been here to hear you on FaceTime saying something about it being the, tw- wishing it was the 28th. Because then Robin remembered. And then she tells me even more. She goes, Lacey is in Salt Lake. She still hasn't called. <laughs> And Lacey always remembers everything. Dude, it's this COVID thing. I'm telling you, people, they can't keep track of anything. Yeah, it's really throwing everything off. It really is. Totally. Nobody knows dates. Yeah, that's always been my problem. (laughs) (laughs) Before it even happened. Right. But yeah, that was, oh, it was pretty funny. Well, at least you remembered. Yeah, I did. I mean, I put it in and I was like, mom, I feel so bad because I really have been like, trying to stay on top of it this year like i remember dad's i called him first thing i was like i think i called cody and she goes you did and i'm like oh thank god <laughs> and then i have two more and i forgot my mom's but at least i remembered it the day of right i have two more to remember both my sisters You're are in good. september i mean some people are different but as a mom i don't really care if my kids remember or not yeah i really don't yeah my mom doesn't care i mean care. some moms care i think my but it's more of like it's always I know been they're all a, busy. it's always been a joke which is why it's so funny that it wasn't just me this year. <laughs> and even better, I was like, I'm not the last one. I know, one you were the second remember. one. I was the second. The second one. Just got but bumped yeah. up a notch. Yeah, so that was my day. <laughs> <laughs> so that was it. That's what happened today. Yep. And then I came home and I've had just some busy days this week. And I got to the house and Eric and Gina and Colby were, Colby was about, you were, got here right after me. They're here waiting for me on the porch. And I look at Gina and I was like. I hadn't been here that long. Eric had, I think. And I thought I showed up late. I was like, oh my God. And I, 
Gina knew exactly what kind of podcast it was going to be because I was like, hey, my brain is mushy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can always tell like when we get on the mic and it would start making just weird noises and just thinking it's extra funny. Yeah. <laughs> Funnier than it actually is. I'm like, oh, it's one of those days. Okay. Yep. I feel like you guys have a lot of those days. We do have a lot of those days. Most of them. So Colby, what's this? Um, what would be the most interesting thing that, that Brooke has done so far? Oh, no. Oh, wow. There's a lot. <laughs> Honestly, I think the most interesting thing to for me uh-huh. is whenever she does like a Metcon or mm-hmm. something like a really, really intense workout, there's like a weird, like during the workout, you can see like almost like a, like a, a shark puts their like eyes back when they go for the attack. Uh-huh. You know, I see her do like these, like, you know, uh, these pretty normal workouts mm-hmm. and they're okay. But when she does a Metcon, she like turns it on mm-hmm. like to a, to a, an extent that I, I didn't know. I've never seen in person any other human do it. You right. Know, so you know, so funny is I have been told that. Yeah. Like multiple times. And and it, almost to the like T of what you just described. Mm-hmm. For the longest time, we were doing workouts at home and like you sure. Know, and so not you could or she's doing my programming or drinking not intense white claws. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. And then when we finally opened up the gym and I saw it for the first time, I was like, oh my god. Yeah. That's <laughs> like, where you really see it. Really, yeah. I know. <laughs> totally. I think that's probably the most interesting thing. For sure, um, that I like see her pretty, mm-hmm. pretty, pretty often now. What's the weirdest? Yeah, what's the weirdest thing she does? The weirdest thing is when you two are together. For sure, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, and it's it's yeah. like so entertaining too, like watching you guys just behind the camera because I'm like a little fly on the wall. I just like watch you guys right. talk. I hear like all the good details, you know, <laughs> know, like everything. Dude, between like you, Eric, Eric really, really hears it. Eric's behind the camera for the podcast, and uh. Sometimes we talk about weird shit. <laughs> weird shit. Totally. Yeah. Like lots of like detailed girl stuff. <laughs> Dirty shit. Period stuff. <laughs> Peri- yeah. Have you learned more about periods? I oh have my girlfriend. So. I mean, yeah. Well, even just hanging out with Brooke and my girlfriend at the yeah. same time. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. I learned a ton. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's good for you. Yeah. It, de- it definitely yeah. helps me uh, yeah. understand a little bit. Understand sure. women. Yeah. 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 Definitely. <laughs> What's that? Like, have you ever been embarrassed by anything she said or that we've said? <laughs> have I ever been embarrassed? No, I haven't because we haven't really been out in public for too long, except the other day we were at REI and we had Maggie in there and uh, there was a two bark limit. Oh, there was. What does that they mean? They let us know we had to stand in line forever to get into REI and we have Maggie and they let us know we have a two bark limit. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. yeah. So, so, anyway, so there, so, so Maggie barks once. Yeah. Right? And Brooke scolds Maggie. Oh, you only have one more bark. You can't do that again. I'm like, all right. Well, <laughs> we're well, limited on barks. <laughs> well, what happened was she was trying to get her gear dialed. Totally understandable. Yeah. You have to have the right gear if you're going to go climb El Cap. Yeah. But I had Maggie. So I was like walking Maggie around the store, like entertaining her. Oh, you were in charge of her. And I was like, her. holy shit. Don't bark. Don't bark. <laughs> I hear like, you know, I was like, oh, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> I'm in charge of you now. Don't do that. <laughs> And that was probably the most uh, worrisome for me being out in public. I was like, oh no, we're going to get kicked out of the store. Maggie's at her limit of barks. I just want to know, like, if there's multiple dogs in there, there, is there somebody that's like specifically looking for barks? Their job, just listening. Their job is, yeah, they're counting barks. Totally. And there was a dog. How would they know? There was a dog in line, a few people in front of us, like a bigger dog. And as soon as they got in line, because they must have like met someone who was in (laughs) line, that dog wanted Maggie. And he was just like, staring her down and he was like making noises like and maggie's just like what's up brother (laughs) just looking at him but then i told the guy when we were going i was like she's really well behaved i'm like but i'm like i'll tell you what we'll try and like make sure we steer clear of the other dog because that would be like the reason she'd start to bark right but she did she barked once and it was it echoed it carried it carried through she does have a high-pitched bark and i looked her and i was like i looked her and i was like i swear to god not today <laughs> not today but then we took her fishing and she had a good time yeah in sticker dirty. Birds, yeah. nice came home got a bath it's funny a two bark minimum i feel like daniel definitely want to put that into place at the gym well i don't even bring her to the gym <laughs> i don't bring her because it's like you can't stand the barking it's like too complicated i know it with is with her yeah. it, she doesn't like and this the gym set up you know to have her 
Like it's nice. The, the garage doors open. And you can have them tied up outside right there. Yeah, but she wants to be bowl. right next to you. That's why. Yeah. Um, and now it's like we're doing so much outside, but I'm like, nah, I don't really want to. I don't want to make anyone mad, <laughs> upset that my dog's cuter than theirs. <laughs> just, just kidding. No, I just, you know, she gets a little stressed. Uh, and she's obsessed with Daniel. Obsessed. She's obsessed with Daniel and obsessed with Colby. And Colby. Yeah. She pisses herself every, every time, time, which is, every you know, time. and, and he, he knows it. So it's like every time I like pick him up or he comes to my house, it's like we open the door. He stands away from the door. Maggie comes out and he's just petting her and he goes, okay, get it all out. <laughs> <laughs> and she does dude, but she almost like rolls in it. And I'm like, no, he's like, no, don't roll in your pee. Yeah. It's no good. That's no uh, good. Um, she loves you. Oh yeah, definitely. All right. Well, yeah. Let's oh, well, sorry. You guys are boring me. I'm just yeah, kidding. What I'm the just, crap? I'm just kidding. I'm just yawning. Oh, it was super fun uh, being on the podcast. Yeah. You'll yeah. Be see, it again, it's not that sure. nerve wracking, right? No, no, now no. Now you no, feel no. at ease. I'm totally. I can okay. talk forever. Well, next, what's going to happen is I'm going to start following you around with a video camera. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm going to be prepared. I'm going to be prepared. Okay. All right. I'm ready. All right. I'm ready for it. Yeah. Totally. I mean, we we're trying to figure out how to, you know, do your hair and the, I know, right? and the headphones. Oh and my God. So good. I'm so worried about my hair. Colby's like Colby just cut his hair. I did just cut my hair. It was yes. way longer than yeah, that. Yeah, it was long. Yeah. He was going to cut it, and I was like... Uh, we were trying to convince him that we wanted to cut straight across bangs. <laughs> <laughs> I think I heard you saying that, and he, you were saying you could you could probably do it. Yeah, yeah like, you, you know said what, it, yeah. Like, uh, I'm pretty open. I'm Dude, pretty open. I love like, Colby. Stuff. He's like so game for anything. Let's yeah. just yeah, try cool. it. Yeah. yeah. Dude, when Super I was easy. looking last story, okay, when me and Devin were in Arizona, I was kind of talking... You know, I say to you, like, I get fed up with my hair, and I'm like, I'm just going to shave it. Yes. All the time. And Devin was like, what if you put out uh, on like basically on so like took a to- like a, a poll of if you should shave your head or you shouldn't and you just shaved your head. We were just like coming up with really weird <laughs> ideas. Terrible idea. We were coming idea. up with really, <laughs> uh, really, idea. really weird ideas <laughs> yeah. of like uh, ways to go viral. <laughs> oh my God. And I was like, huh. Dude, if you shaved your head... <laughs> That would go viral for Sorry. sure. I mean, I would make sure she, I had some really good wigs that in place like, That's first. What, no, and you've said that before. And I said, there's no way that you would work out with a wig on. Those things, like, you sweat so bad. You'd have to take it off every time you worked out. Who's the You'd actress? You'd just be G.I. Jane. I was just going to say, no, who's that G. actress? What's her name? Uh, Demi Moore. Dude, she was hot. I know. If I could look like that with a shaved head, maybe. I, you. I mean, you would definitely look better than me with a shaved head. My mom had to shave her head. She had brain surgery. Yeah, she looked cute. She looked great. I remember I was like, mom, keep it shaved. Okay, well, if you want to shave your head, go for it. <laughs> no, nah, not yet. But, you know, if it's like last resort. Yeah. One day. <laughs> what would last resort be? That the mullet's not cutting it. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I think that's it. Yeah. If, Shaving it. If mullets never come back in style, they're in style. If they don't come back and st- if I don't feel like they're in style enough for me to just rock it, then, you know, we'll maybe shave we'll it. shave it. Well, Colby said he would rock a, a mullet. Yeah, I think that might be the next step. You we'll 100% see. should have a mullet. Yeah. Just, yeah. just why not, right? Like, I've had long hair for like years, so. And it grows fast. It grows so fast. So fast. <laughs> I know, stop bragging. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that was bragging. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about how we can't grow our own hair all the time and it's like somebody's like oh it grows so fast it's like when somebody's like my nails grow so fast i, I just have them these done all the time i just have these strong my nail beds are so strong that i can barely cut them with nail clippers we're like oh tell us more oh your hair grows too oh you grow your own eyelashes too so we're hormone deficient dude my sister has really long thick hair and i'm like man it's unfair. God gave me a mullet and I mean a nice one though. And <laughs> the ability to grow muscles. That's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Most people don't have that. It's true. A lot more people, I think a lot more females have the ability to grow hair more than muscles. So I think you're ahead of them on that. It's definitely nicer to have muscles for sure. Yeah. Got to stay in the, just got to keep working out. <laughs> yeah. Dude, and you've, you Stick stepped to it what up. You, know. you stepped it up. You've been. You've been pushing hard. I did. I said, I was weeks. like, this is where we turn around, we're turning it around, Colby. This and you've it. done it. You've done it. Yeah. How did was the, today's workout? It was tough. The chief. It was the chief. What is the chief? The chief is five rounds, three minute AMRAPs is each round, one minute rest in between, three power cleans, six push ups, nine air squats. 
Okay. Prescribed weight is 95 women, 135 men. I haven't done this workout in years. And it's a great workout. You don't, it doesn't require a lot of setup. You don't need a ton of stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, The weight's very manageable. It's, you can move quick. It's just a lot of volume. Mm -hmm. And you gotta, you, and you have to be willing to, like, if you really want to get out, like get out of it, what you can, like the, the, you know, what's possible. Um, you have to be willing to, you like have to push. turn into the shark. Yeah. It's yeah, really, e- it's really easy in a workout like that to like, a, you know, not sandbag, but lay out, like pull off the gas pedal a little bit. Right. And I, I remember there was a moment in the workout too. Um, maybe the second round. Cause the first round I did five full rounds and then I did the cleans pushups and I got five of the nine air squats. And then I was going into the second round and I did five full rounds and I, there was just a moment where like, I thought, oh, that's, I mean, that's a good, that's a good number for me. And then I thought to myself, like, I just told everyone that I was going to be willing to suffer. So I better fucking pick it up (laughs) until the time is done. So those are just thoughts went on in my head. I like it. Yeah. I wish I, 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 wish like, I had those and I was a sweaty mess, man. Yeah, I bet. I was just like snot <laughs> <laughs> spitting. I'm out there just me and Colby and like Daniel's over on the air assault reading his reading his book. <laughs> Marcus got there, they're just chilling because it was just like no yeah. one was there training. Yeah, everybody was chilling. Brooke was dying. In and, the my, corner. and I had my headphones in. I was just like, oh fuck. <laughs> oh God. Poor baby. And then I drove home. We hurried home. I had a phone call. And as I'm sitting on this Zoom call, this like interview, my whole body is trembling. And I'm just like, uh-huh. <laughs> just sweating. And just like, I can feel all my muscles. Like, haven't done that in a very long time. <laughs> but yeah, it was great. Well, you got through it. Yeah, I got Good through job. it. Anyways, guys. All right. Well, we've been on here for an hour, which is standard for us. Yeah, we're going to um, wrap Colbs, it up. thanks so much for coming Yeah, Colby. Dude, thanks for having me, guys. Yeah. I was... I'm stoked on this. Yeah. I can't wait for the next one. Well, you're doing such a great job. Oh, thank you. Proud of you, buddy. Yeah, you guys, oh. hey, if you haven't already, if oh, you're yeah, go, if you're a listener following. but not a, a viewer, go watch my YouTube channel. Yeah, go totally. And, go and watch some of the videos and come on this journey of with me of watching Colby become just the most epic videographer. videographer. Yeah. And Colby, where can they find you at? Yeah, on Instagram. Oh, yeah. You can find me on Instagram, the underscore Colbs. Or, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have. Instagram, I don't really do Twitter. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, like and subscribe. Yeah, uh, drop a comment. Drop a comment. Watch the videos. Uh, we got some fire coming out. Yeah. You guys remember right, guys. to rate, rate review, review, subscribe, five-star five rating, five-star five warning, and we'll talk, talk to, to you guys next, next week. week. Bye. Bye. We wanted to tell you about Wild Wild Tech. It's a new podcast about the wildest, most bizarre, most interesting stories about technology and how it's shaping our culture. Technology is everywhere from smartphones to connected cars and complex algorithms. But you may not be aware that technology is affecting our daily lives in weird ways. Like, for instance, director Ryan Johnson told everyone Apple won't let bad guys use iPhones in movies. But did you know Apple changed the way their products look just to make them more appealing in movies? (laughs) That's crazy. That is crazy. (laughs) Or Disney Plus censored Daryl Hannah's butt in Splash to make it somewhat look like she's wearing hairy shorts. (laughs) And that's not the first confusing censoring Disney has done. (laughs) Or how about this? The U.S. Army is recruiting its next generation of soldiers on Twitch. What? Weird. Weird. What? Maybe because they're just going to start having AI and then people will just control them from like an office. Crazy. (laughs) Crazy. On Wild Wild Tech... They will bring you each topic through the voice of experts who know all about the hidden world of technology and real people who are having their lives changed in strange ways by the digital world. Wild Wild Tech is hosted by Jordan Erica Weber, writer for The Guardian, One Zero, and hosted podcast for the BBC. And co-host Joshua Rivera, writer for The Verge, Vulture, and GQ They go out into the world to find the real people who lived through these crazy stories, as well as gain more insight from experts and reporters who are at the verge of tech and pop culture. Wild Wild Tech brings you stories about your favorite tech companies and products that you won't believe are real. At the end of this episode, you'll hear a short clip of Wild Wild Tech. 
and you can subscribe to the show if you like what you hear. Listen and subscribe to Wild Wild Tech on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you're listening now. You can also find a link in the episode notes that will take you right to the show. Go listen about some bizarre tech, guys. Would you be surprised if scientists are learning how to fight COVID-19 from World of Warcraft? As soon as you see that bolt go out, as soon as the person gets diseased, they have to run away from the group really fast. What if I told you that I could spoil almost any movie based on who uses an iPhone? The first guideline is that the user is a good guy. It says that just very specifically. Or that the cute Animal Crossing virtual world has turned into a capitalist nightmare that people are spending tons of real money on. Like I took literally all the money I had, put it in the stock market, and then went on Twitter and like typed in turnips and then refreshed over and over again until I found a, a good island price that I could do it. Did you know that Disney apparently has a preoccupation with butts? I'm fine with butts, pretty pro butt in general. I'm really struggling to develop a strong opinion about butts for you and I don't have one. <laughs> Well, that's Wild Wild Tech, the podcast that brings you the wildest, most bizarre, the most interesting stories about tech and how it's shaping our culture. Wild Wild Tech is hosted by Jordan Erica Weber, that's me, and me, Joshua Rivera. And every week, we'll uncover infamous stories in pop culture and tech, and we'll learn from the experts and talk to the people who lived through these weird stories. Like when the two computer programmers decided to create an AI that made billions of melodies just to disrupt the world of copyright law. Or when they made Steph Curry so good in NBA 2K, it broke the game. Or the time when... You know what? You should just listen. Subscribe to Wild Wild Tech for free on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. <laughs>